chips. So fish and chips, Friday night, that's what you do. Reminds me a bit of Minerva, except Minerva Reef was um, clearer. What was clearer? Oh, what did he find? Ah, mommy! leave Langford Island and Langford Reef and Little Foot Island which has now disappeared and we're going to go out to the reef, the Great Barrier Reef. And that's where we're headed. Woo! It's a grey day today. We um, sailed off the anchor this morning which wasn't that difficult because there was no anchor, it was just a mooring. So it was pretty easy. Um, it was blustering about 20 knots when, when we left and it's now stopped down to less than 10. So it's really nice. And we are heading out to the reef today, hopefully. If the wind uh, lets us get out there. And in the background we've got Hayman Island and we've just left, what's that little island called yeah, Langford Langford. Island. And on the 4th of June, 1770, Captain Cook sailed within a couple of miles of where we're sailing. Head in the same direction. Um, yeah, incredible. He's been reading his log this morning. But otherwise, nothing to report apart from it's raining. It's been raining since November. Um, and all is well aboard. Cheers. How do you say it? Amherst. Amherst. Amherst, that little one up ahead there. Yeah, with the Norfolk pines on it. I mean, hoop pines on it. With the winds mucking around a bit. Not that there's much. No. A bit really. Really, really. This is the point where Captain Cook said this is the extent of the island chain. As he looked north of here, couldn't see any more islands. Um, south of here, of course, there's a hundreds and hundreds. So, and he was exactly right. That is, this is the, um, the last of the islands. It's actually a good book called The Last of the, what's it called? Uh, the Last of the Islands? The Last Islands. The Last Islands, yeah, about the local area here. So we're going to zip around the northern point here in a minute and shut the main down. The engine has just been charging batteries because we haven't had that much sunshine over the last few days. And then we'll sail north, uh, east northeast, out to Bay Reef, which is on the outer barrier reef. That's the plan for this morning. I've just taken this out of the oven. This is Wendy's banana bread. It is absolutely incredible. She is the new hostess for the most just when it comes to bread making. Can't wait to try breakfast tomorrow with some homemade Wendy marmalade on. So you're happy with your bread when? Yes. Oh, the sun's very bright there. Yeah. Yep, my banana bread. Look at that. That's pretty good. Look, it smells. Banana. Smell it. After a few months of rain, finally, look at that. Blue, blue sky. This gives me a chance to dry the spinnaker out properly. Just dry everything out properly. It's just beautiful out here. We're out on the barrier reef. And I picked it, we picked the Beautifully, it's dead flat. When we came in yesterday, it was still blowing 20s to 30s. But today, we've been swimming this morning, dived on the boat, gave it a proper bit of a scrub. It's just beautiful out here. 
Absolutely beautiful. And we've got two or three days of this calm weather. Gotta go very slowly. At least you can see it because the water's yeah. clear. It's dead ahead too, you can it's see that. Get into the lagoon. You can see it's dead ahead there? Yeah. Okay. There might be a gap over there. Or there could be a gap there. Nothing that's too high, no. I think there might be something here. And there. Yeah, she's looking a little bit dirty. A lot of stuff everywhere. Thank you. 
So, what's that, Norman? <laughs> well, we've gone for a little snorkel in Peanut, and it's the first time we've gone for a snorkel off this boat. And just before we left, Magnus said, Oh, how are we going to get back in? Because <sighs> she's quite high. So he said, I'll put a little foothold hold in a bit of rope and we'll hang it off the boat. <laughs> but I made the rope a bit short. So he did, but he put the, he put the loop at shoulder height. To be short. So it's a little bit difficult to get out. You'll get it. So I might just stay in. Beautiful morning. I'm just about to leave Bait Reef and head to Hook Reef. I'll just stay here an extra day because it was a bit windy yesterday. Myself is a very sad. Oh anyway, we have left Bait Reef and we are now heading to Hook uh, Hook Reef, I think it's called. Hook Reef, yeah. Um, it's a, a shape of a hook. Oh, it's a shape of a hook, which uh, allows fishing. So we've got both lines out, and we are desperate to catch a fish. It's been how long? Months. Mm, yeah. Probably. Months. years months so um, apparently it's very good fishing so we're going to have fish for dinner <laughs> that's the plan and it's just beautiful out here we've got magic conditions sun is shining the sea is calm there's little sparkles on the water and lots of fishermen out and it's just magical so nice to be here today see ya Big enough. Do you want to get the tape measure? Yeah, sure. So it's spotted good. mackerel. Spotted mackerel, it's legal size, and it's dinner. So, how are you feeling right now, Beth? Oh, I'm pretty happy because we've already got dinner. Yeah. We haven't, even, we haven't even got there yet. And it was only uh, a few, what, minutes after I just said we need a fish? Yeah. So, only a few minutes after I just spoke to you guys, we caught a fish. It's a good sized spotted mackerel, so the lines are now back in again. We don't need any more fish, we've got enough, and it's fish for dinner, probably on the barbecue, depending on whether it's windy or not. Otherwise, I'll do uh, panko fish inside. Yay! How do I look? <laughs> I'm just about to go up the front to do bommy watch, but my uh, multifocal prescription lenses are not. Polaroid. So I've borrowed a pair of Magnuses. Whoop. There we go. Now they are.
there nearly went right over the top of that one. They're really hard to see. We're here, we've arrived at Bait Reef. There's some pretty massive bombies around. So we've gone a little further out to be safe. And we just anchored. And then we're gonna go and have a look around in Peanut. Magnus is going to use the bait board on Peanut to fillet a fish for the first time. Pretty good, you can sit down and fill it. Yeah. It's a shimmy, straight off the fish. Oh, mm. it's beautiful. Just gonna go and have a look around. This beautiful place. My own Bobby watch. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, is that the one we came in on? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Look at it. Right over the top. Oh. Yeah. How deep is it? Oh, it's a fair way down. Fish down <gasps> so many fish! They're everywhere. So we'll see how that turns out. That doesn't look too shabby. Now if you listen really, really hard, you can hear the sound of nothing. Absolute serenity. Going, going, gone. Will we get a green flash? Oh, I don't know, we might. Gone. You bodies will know what we're talking about. No, no green flash tonight. Beautiful sunset here in the Coral Sea. Well, I've never caught a spot of mackerel before. And it is delicious. Wendy panko'd it. Shot her fried in panko crumbs with her special way of doing things. And Chips. So fish and chips, Friday night, that's what you do. Um, absolutely beautiful. So our first fish of the trip. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, so thanks, man. You're welcome. Cheers.
good with that. Spanish mackerel. No, we didn't. Uh, <laughs>